The mother of a missing Oxnard woman, Dawn Van Bunker, believes that her daughter is in the middle of a mysterious death investigation tonight and may be having a mental breakdown. I cannot believe this. It's worse than a Twilight Zone movie, and we've lived through hell. Police found a man's decomposing body in an SUV parked in the Palisades. And at a townhouse down the street, they found hundreds of guns and tons of ammunition. Well, it turns out that the dead man's fiance, Catherine Nebron, is Dawn Ved Bunker's boss. And the two women were with the man when he died. But they never reported the death because they believed he was a secret agent, but with a twist. He was part alien and part human. And he was out to save the world. And he was higher than the CIA. And that every time we were there, that we were being watched. And the women apparently believed that alien or CIA operatives would collect the man's body while they went to Oregon. It was craziness that was totally nuts. Harlan Braun is the fiance's attorney and is shocked by what was discovered at the Palisades home. We found a lot of cash. We found guns. We found uh, you know stuff that could be used for snipers. There are cars that were modified for you know, desert travel. Uh, he could have been working for anyone. It's hard to imagine, however, that it's a total figment of imagination because there was so much money involved. There's almost $5 million worth of guns that were, were taken by the police. The police also uncovered six and a half tons of ammunition at the one condo in the Palisades. Laura Vad Bunker isn't quite sure why her daughter believes the alien secret agent story, but she wants her to come home now and get some help. That daughter, Dawn Van Bunker, who is 39, by the way, has yet to contact her parents or, or her two teenage daughters and may still actually be up in Oregon. Meanwhile, the dead man identified tonight as Jeff Lash has other storage units that are still unopened. No telling what they may find in there. I had a chance to speak with some neighbors, and they say this couple pretty much kept to themselves, and while that is not a crime, LAPD, uh, they're looking at some other elements. From the outside, not all that different from the rest here on Palisades Drive, but this hillside condo was different, housing quite the stash of guns, well over 1,000. The man who lived here with the registered female homeowner found dead in a car a short distance away. That was Friday. Neighbors here in the Pacific Highlands, as it's called, still trying to piece it all together. The fact that they were so secretive uh, naturally aroused the interest and suspicions of uh, those of us uh, who observed what was going on. LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division have counted more than 1,200 firearms from handguns to rifles and shotguns and no shortage of ammunition. The early estimate puts it at more than two tons. They uh, really uh, hid quite effectively the fact that they had armaments in the house. These findings in this condo at 1770 Palisades Drive led to quite a response by the LAPD bomb squad over the weekend. All weapons and ammunition have been booked into evidence. The legality and origin of these firearms are now under review by investigators and an official cause of death for the resident whose body was found nearby in a parked SUV. It's still a work in progress. And the official word, no signs of foul play in this man's death as far as the guns. Still an investigation going on on that side of things. In Pacific Palisades, Dave Meekham, KTLA 5 News. What the?